This is the Phenom 2 X4 970, and I will tell you what is special about it. It is a quad-core processor at 3.5 gigahertz with 8 megs of cache. That makes it AMD's fastest quad-core in terms of sheer frequency ever. And we are going to open it up. It uses a true quad-core design, which is uh, what mostly everyone is using these days, and it fits in a standard AM3 socket. AMD's really done a phenomenal job. Actually, it fits in an AM2 Plus socket too. AMD's really done a phenomenal job of making sure that their customers are getting great backwards and forwards compatibility out of their new CPUs, their old motherboards, and uh, yeah, kudos to AMD. So this chip supports DDR2 as well as DDR3. That is an AM3 or an AM2 Plus socket. It is AMD Vision Black. You can see the branding sticker is uh, put on there a little bit after the fact, so you should combine it with an uh, HD 5000 series graphics card as well as an 800 series chipset to get the best possible experience according to the AMD Vision um, marketing campaign that AMD does. Here is a quick start guide as well as your warranty information. We're not really going to go through that in any great detail. So we'll have a look at the chip itself. It comes with a Phenom 2 sticker which you can put on your case. Hey, look at that. I haven't seen a sticker like that before. Look, it slides into a little thing. You just pull it out with your thumb and it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Neato. That's kind of different. And AMD's actually changed their, uh, their CPU clamshell a little bit too. It uses a slightly different design now. So we'll have a look at the chip itself. And there it is. Phenom 2. You can see all the numbers on the top of the chip. So there's uh, 940 pins on the bottom there. That's an AM3 compatible pinout. And we'll have a look at the included thermal solution. Since this is their highest clocked quad core, this is going to come with a fairly beefy cooler. I can already see it has a copper, well, fairly beefy for a stock cooler. I mean, it's not going to really like compare to that thing, but it'll be reasonably close. Well, no, it won't be reasonably close. Never mind. It'll run fine, unless you're overclocking, in which case you should probably get something better. Okay, so this is the cooler that debuted with the original Socket 939 dual core Opterons. I remember this one. And uh, back then it had an 80 mil fan, which was slightly cooler and more impressive, but it still has a, uh, this looks like a 60 millimeter fan, and it's a slightly deeper one. It's not a low profile one, so you should get some pretty good airflow out of it. It's got four heat pipes, a copper base, and aluminum fins, and that's pretty much all there is to say about it. Like I said, if you're running it stock, this is going to run nice and cool, nice and quiet for you. But if you are overclocking, you're probably going to want to throw something a little bit more impressive on your brand new Black Edition CPU. Ah yes, Black Edition. So this is a Black Edition chip. That means it does come with a fully unlocked multiplier for, as AMD puts it, maximum control or for, uh, from my perspective, uh, lazy, easy overclocking. So that means you can tweak it as much as you possibly can without really knowing anything about overclocking, which is great. You just turn up the multiplier, turn up the core voltage, and boom, you're done. Now, something I want to investigate, so you'll have to stay tuned for a future video, is whether or not this quad core can be unlocked to a six core. It depends on what kind of a manufacturing process AMD is using, and I hope to update you in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips to hear that video and more. Subscribe. It's the gold button on the left. Or the right. I don't remember where it is.